Do you know when there was a time in America where, where m murder didn't apply to black people? You know, slaves, you, you couldn't murder a black person. The, the, the law didn't apply to a black person. That's how messed up it is. In the same way, they're trying to say the word murder doesn't apply to an animal. They're only animals. The word rape doesn't describe what happens to an animal when they're having a fish shoved in their anus against their will. What is it? It's sodomy. Now, now I don't use the word rape when I describe the forcible impregnation and sexual abuse that happens to cows because people switch off. I don't personally use it. But I'm not going to deny that that is rape. I will never deny that that is rape. If someone says to me, hey, do you think that, that that's rape what's happened to the cow? I'm, I'm going to say, of course it is. What, what do you think it is? It's rape. Okay, now, do I use it when I advocate? No, I don't. But are animals worthy of the word? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Like, what do we... We look down at them that much that they don't even have enough dignity that we, we can't even use these words to describe their plight? Like, what is that? We used to do this. We, we do the same thing to human beings. We say that they're that race. They don't matter. Oh, that person's mentally retarded. They don't matter. She's a woman. They don't matter. That's a gay person. They don't matter. Same discrimination. It's absolutely insane that we are debating this, that we are even, I, I'm having to defend my position on it. Like what, what type of back to front world are we in? And like people, they want to play like the media and all these people, they want to play some word games with me. Like, hey, Joey, technically, if you look at this meaning in the dictionary of that word, it's not, it doesn't apply to animals. What we're talking about the act. Now you stab an animal in the throat and kill them. And you're, you're more worried about the, um, the immorality of using the wrong wording to describe it. Well, how about I just show you a picture of it? And, uh, you know, we can look at the picture and I can say, hey, is that bad or is that good? How about we keep it that simple? And you go, oh, well, that's bad. Okay, well, that's bad. We shouldn't be doing it then? No. Okay, we'll stop consuming animal products. That's all. That's all. Hey, yep. Yeah, we shouldn't be doing that to animals? We'll stop using them and exploiting them and killing them. Well, why? This is the thing they do. It's like a red herring. They try to deter you from the core point. Okay with words. And and this is what the farmers try to do me. Exactly the same thing. We go in there, sit down, I start talking about what the the sexual abuse that happens in the industry, and they start going, "You can't call it rape." Are you going to address the fact that you're sticking your fist in a cow's ass? Are we going to even address that that you are slashing the animal's throats after shooting them in the head? Are we going to even address that or do you want to have a little game about how we shouldn't be calling people names that that, that don't apply to animals? You know what I mean? It's just pure insanity. Now, I will never mark my words until I, the day that I die, I will never deny that animals are slaves. I will never say they're not slaves. They are slaves. And I will never, ever say that cows are not raped in the dairy industry, that pigs are not raped in the pork industry. I will never say that because they are. Okay? I will never deny that because... If we do, we are, we are basically saying that they are not worthy of those words. Their, their plight doesn't matter. Animals do not matter enough to use these words to describe their plight. Yes, they do. This is a massive part of what's wrong with us. We, we do not recognize them as individuals that matter. And like, I just, I just don't know why I'm even, we're even having this discussion. Like, why, are, why are we even having to spend our lives explaining this to people that gas chambering pigs is wrong. I have to stand on national television to explain that. I've got four people defending animal abuse around me and I have to explain to millions of people why gas chambering innocent pigs is wrong. This is the world we are living in. I'm trying to wake it up. Where, where vegans calling someone who abuse, sexually abuses vulnerable innocent beings a rapist, where vegans say that, is immoral. But the rapist is defended by society. Now, I know farmers don't think that they are raping animals, you know? They just think that they're performing a procedure. Now, and I, and I sympathize with that. They are, they're completely, you know, conditioned, indoctrinated, brainwashed. It's no measure of health to be well-adjusted to a profoundly sick society. And that is what's going on with farmers. 
They don't even think what they're doing is wrong. People don't even think eating bacon is immoral. Uh, it, using animals is wrong at all. We are that adjusted to violence, to exploitation, to sexual abuse, that we don't even think it's immoral. This is the society collectively. This is what we're dealing with, okay? And it's up to us. It's up to us, abolitionists, us vegans who want to end slavery, to end the sexual abuse, to speak up and say, that is wrong. What you are doing is wrong. Sorry, there's no, there is no argument here. We will never back down. That is, that is immoral. We, we will never budge on that until you take your hands off of that animal, okay? We will never budge on that and till, till we die, okay? Because this cannot be debated and it, we won't debate it. This is what it will be. Us telling you what you are doing to those animals is wrong and you working that out and saying, I'm sorry, I'm going to redeem myself and we're going to, we're going to leave these animals alone from now on. This is how it's going to work out, okay? Now, there might be a bit of a struggle. There might be some violent opposition. There might be some, you know, a little bit of discomfort. You know, society's going to have to, you know, go through a, level, a, a period of discomfort about this. But too bad, too bad because there's real victims involved in this situation, okay, that aren't even being addressed. And until they are... Until they are completely recognized, they're not just looked at as property, until they're completely recognized as individuals that deserve liberty and moral value, right, basic, basic fundamental rights, until then, we won't stop. You know, we are not going to stop. And that is my position on it. And I don't care how many articles um, are written about me trying to defame me and trying to defame other vegans. That is, doesn't change the truth of it. That does not change what is happening every second of every day inside of the gas chambers and the slaughterhouses and the farms where they're molesting uh, innocent animals. None, none, none of this defamation of, um, defamation of my character changes any of that. So, so shoot the messenger all you like, but leave the animals alone.